What up, everybody? We're jamming right off the bat. Uh, we're gonna get into some a little bit of the thing that you see in Clickdown. What are we feeling? What do we feel? Oh, green, green, green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That look good. That's not actually green. It's like a cyan, but it looks more green on OBS. Either way, that look good. Last episode of the Vault Hunters. We left off. Uh, we had this big chonkin mining adventure. Sorry, just making sure the microphone's all right. It, I thought it was about to like fall off of the, the mount that it's on. Whoa, a little uh, choppy. You know what, if you saw last episode, you know what this is. Right there. We need, um, sorry, I just feel like a little funky at the moment. I was gonna say we need some buttons or something. That's a little better. What is this? Funky. I feel like it's not quite loud enough. That's a little better. I don't want it to be like overwhelmingly loud. Uh. Do you guys hear him? Temporary staircase. Okay. Um, we goofed. Um, well, maybe we should just sleep. The iron doors are specifically for the, the room with the villagers. Um, so that they don't get clapped. I feel like this isn't loud enough. Maybe it's just this one song and that uh, the other ones will be too loud now. We're way ahead of ourselves here. Oh, uh, buttons. Can we do anisite buttons? No. Can't do cobblestone buttons. Um, okay, I guess we just do wooden buttons. I don't really care to smelt anything at the moment. Hi, guy. Hey, get out of my way, guy. Fun. Uh, 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 
Do 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 do. So I kind of wanted stone to stand out from that. It's fine. Really? How about we just move it to the other side? Ouch. How's that? That's a little better. That's actually pretty good right there. Oh my gosh. Now we eat very loud. I guess we'll find out when we're hungry again. Okay. So the goal here, as of right now, this moment, today, this episode, the one that's already seven minutes in, specifically, uh, we need chromatic iron. That's the goal. That's enough torches. <laughs> what do we have? Two iron picks? So we make... Oh, we just used all our wood. Or all our sticks. Oh, I guess it would help if I made sticks first, huh? See, this song's loud now. Still a tad loud. Um, we, did we make it all the way to the bottom yet? Think not. I think not. I don't think we did. <laughs> That's my Michael Jackson. My mouse is going to end up like on the other side of my desk because I just keep turning left. <laughs> Got to reset. Yeah, I don't like these stairs. They're terrible. I know that wasn't chromatic iron, even though it, it jabates you like it's chromatic. Skeletor? Alright, now I, I can't hear uh, hostile mobs. Alright, time out. Sorry. I know, I'm a mess right now. Hostile creatures all the way up. It's fine. I swear I hear a skelly. Skeleton? Skeleton?
Oops. Oh my. It's a bit of a warm up session. We're definitely are gonna need. I should have been using something else other than cobblestone to do this because we're kind of low on cobblestone. Well, that would explain it. What's the word? Like a... What do they do when on TV shows when it's been like a week and you come back to it and they're like, Last time on Pokemans. Like, Ash Ketchum. Um, last time on this series here, we uh, went mining for a very long time and we collected a very lot of stuff and we were very uh, unlucky. We, uh, we did not get the chromatic iron that we were hoping for. Uh, now, to be fair, we did kind of mine a little bit higher up than, than, uh, chromatic iron is normally found. Um, if I remember correctly, it was like, shoot, what height was it? I, I don't remember. I, I can't remember what height it, it spawns at, but it, it's the, it's more common the lower you go, and it can sometimes spawn, uh, in the air right so or, uh, excuse me exposed to air not like floating in the air um so with that being said uh we're gonna try to strip mine for it with the hopes that we have a higher chance of finding it um yeah Oh, what are the odds we parkour that, huh? <laughs> we did it. You guys doubted me. Where's our hole? I want that, though. We don't have much of that. Tell you what, let's save the cobblestone, even though we're probably not going to get any more while we're down here just because we're so low. Um, it's uh, not our most plentiful item at the moment. I set the music to like every genre, so bear with it. Um, it's gonna be all over the place, and, uh, if you like it, awesome. If not, don't worry, it'll change. Moving on! To greater things. The goal today is straight up just chromatic iron. That's really all I care for at the moment. Um, with that being said, if we get enough chromatic iron, um, my assumption is that if we find it, we will get enough to, uh, create a portal. Oh no, we need two different things. We need, so the chromatic iron is going to be used to create, um, the altar, which we need, as well as, what? What the? What's happening? They're so loud. Why are they still sp What is happening? Why are they still spawning? Oh, he's beating my cheeks!
Bro, why was it? Why is there so many of them? Ugh, I hear one in the wall. <laughs> Not a fan. Not a fan. Um, what was I saying? Chromatic iron. We need that. We also need um bolt rock. Uh, and as if I'm correct in saying so, vault rock spawns in fairly large ores or like veins. I'm sorry. So uh, if we find that, which hopefully, please let us find that. Good, good. Uh, what are who are they called? The RNG gods is Cal 85. Let me find it, please. And uh, then we should have enough to make a uh, a portal. As well as whatever else we gotta make. I think it also takes Vault Rock to create a uh, an altar. So, what the heck? I... It sounds like. I gotta find it. Ah! Found it. It's dead. I heard another one. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I don't know what these are used for, but they seem important. I like the color. As we were saying. Okay. Um, Volt Rock. We need that. And we need Chromatic Iron. Um, now that I've repeated that 16 times, I hope you guys understand that we need Volt Rock and Chromatic Iron. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, hopefully we get it. We're at negative 26 right now. I think it goes to like negative 60. So... I guess we just go the whole way, right? So we go until we hit bedrock, we stay up a block just so we don't like waste our opportunities to find object or uh, ores and whatnot. And uh, we'll just be cruising along. We'll just, uh, we'll be doing this forever and ever until we get what we need. My favorite thing in the world is mining uh, deep slate cobblestone with an iron pick, unenchanted. Oh, and we have a, a um, fortune two gold pick with us. Now, it's a little damaged, but um, my thoughts were like, if we run into a uh, an chromatic iron vein. We'll just slap it with the fortune. Right? And depending on how large the vein is, we may, you know, we may end up using the entire pick. Um, and if that's the case, then I think I may just want to run back upstairs and repair it. And then, uh, come back and hit it again. Because we need as much of that stuff as we can. Now, I know that once we start running vaults, we have the potential to find chromatic iron, which is gonna be kind of huge because we really don't care to be mining constantly um i mean i know this is minecraft but it's vault hunters minecraft and we're trying to hunt some vaults ladies and gentlemen that's what we're doing here and if you're here watch me just mine rocks all the time then uh maybe join a different series with that i have coming out soon um I'm not sure what order I'm going to start dropping these things in, um, but so uh, here's the deal. Uh, 
I, I don't think I've had this conversation uh, with anybody yet. Um, I've just been kind of doing it and uh, going with the flow and as I do. And, uh, you know, that's how we do things around here. We, we wing it. We play it by ear. We uh, we kind of just do go with our gut, how we feel. Um, we're just big chilling, having, hanging out, having a good time. And whatever we got to do to have a good time is uh, we've been playing. So, okay, I started out with vanilla Minecraft. And I, I played a, a good bit of that. And I was really enjoying it. And I started building a house. And we didn't really get too far as far as, like, uh, story progression goes. Like, you know, we didn't kill the dragon. We didn't uh, go in. We haven't even been to the nether in that yet. We were just building, having a good time, doing our things. And um, I was like modded modded well, maybe we should do some modded maybe we should be we gotta look into some modded we did we're here obviously if you didn't notice um and i was i did a little bit of better minecraft and uh quickly realized that it's literally just vanilla minecraft but with but better like there's a lot of stuff added like mobs and uh blocks and trees and biomes and all this fun stuff and there's not really anything super out of the ordinary aside from just like regular stuff being amped way up right now vault hunters on the other hand is not that uh it is like its own thing right so like there's this whole other side of minecraft here and that is hunting vaults rather than like your regular everyday like collecting ores building a house doing the dragon all this other stuff um now i believe there are other dimensions in better minecraft so anyways with all that being said i was thinking maybe bail on the uh vanilla minecraft at the moment for now um and essentially replace better uh vanilla minecraft episodes with better minecraft um that, that's not to say that i won't that was loud and scary um that's not to say that i won't do vanilla minecraft anymore ever um just for the time being I, I'm kind of like into this whole modded stuff. I, I'm really enjoying it. So if you're enjoying it, let me know how you feel. Let me know what you're thinking. And same goes for if you're not enjoying it. Tell me how you feel. I'd like to know. I got to know. Um, But th yeah, so that's basically all I got on that side of things. Like, so we're here. We're doing our thing on the, the Vault Hunters. And I'll probably be, probably be, probably, probably be, be bouncing back and forth between Vault Hunters and Better Minecraft. Now, I also have RL Craft on my radar. I'd like to kind of dip my toe into that. Um, I have no idea how that was is gonna go now i believe create the create like i've seen a lot of popularity in the create mod um so i'm interested in checking that out as well just for the sake of it looks like a good time i, I enjoy that kind of stuff um so but the thing is i believe uh create is actually in vault hunters here so um i mean i don't expect to completely delve into the whole create thing in vault hunters like by no means do I think I'm going to complete every single little aspect of Create through the Vault Hunter series. Um, but... Uh... We definitely are probably most likely going to try to utilize it. Um... Just for the sake of, like, one, it's fun. Two... Uh, it's there. And three. Um. I don't know. Why not? Maybe we just stop at negative 57. We're pretty much at the bottom. What are we listening to? Yes, my shotuni. Uh, shotoni. Yes, my I don't know. I don't know. It's over. <laughs> it was all right. It wasn't bad. I just didn't understand the words. This is our life now, guys. That was a big ore for that kind of stuff. I mean, we don't really get to see much of that. Um, now, I don't know how y'all... Uh, do your strip mining, but 
I'm very particular. Nice. Good time. A good, good uh, amount of stuff. That's fine. Okay. Actually. So, here's what we're going to do. We're at the bottom. This is going to be... Not what I wanted to do. That's it, right there. Um, actually... Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to forget to put that back. Um... Because, uh, one, I, we got the center hole carved out, right, of the staircase, so that when we're at the top, we can straight up just, like, leap into it, dive straight down. Coming down is going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. Going back up, miserable. It's horrible trying to go back up. Oh, maybe we go up one more block. Just because of this nasty lava. That's fine. One less block that we gotta, like, climb upwards with the staircase. Uh, anyway, um... Yes, hopefully we don't forget to place that down. Let's just leave it there. We'll leave it there. So I'm going to clear out a little bit of an area here. Just a little breathing room, that's all. And then afterwards, uh, we'll do some straight up strip mining. Now, I like to skip three blocks and then go straight. You know, a two by one. And then as far as your little heart desires, go that direction. And then if I feel like I need to redirect... I go back to this little breathing hole that we have down here and travel a complete different direction. I don't do the whole freaking, like, rat trap, like, m cave stuff. I, I don't... Look, man, we got... <laughs> I try to stay as organized as possible. So, like, watch. I'll, I'll explain a little better visually here in just a second what I, I like to do when it comes to strip mining. I'm super OCD. I can't help it. Um... It just has, it is. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good lord, this, this stuff takes so long to break, dude. With any luck, it'll be in our recipes. Or the vaults, right? So, like, we could just, like, put it to use and it's not gonna feel like a total waste of time mining all this stuff. Let's go one more. song is called Yellow Flamingo by Sarah the Illumentria Il <laughs> Illstrumentalist we got it we know words it's not like it's a fake word or anything okay that doesn't really belong there Ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. So, that's going to be a strip. Ah, oh, shoot. I should have gotten one more. Ugh. All right, watch this. That's not going to work.
All right, so that's gonna be the first one. That's the second one. What the heck? We're listening to Yankee Doodle? I didn't know they had this music on uh, YouTube Studio. You can blame YouTube for this. Because they won't let me use copywritten music. I'm just clearing a big old chunk of space out. This is going to make it feel a lot less claustrophobic down here. Like, I desperately want to change this song, but I know, I know that there's somebody out there watching this right now, and they are bumping. They're just loving it. Like, they're having, they're like, yeah, this is my childhood. I remember playing this on the recorder in grade school. <laughs> just freaking jamming, so I didn't want to skip it. Sorry for everybody who hated that. I kind of hated it. <laughs> Alright, it made me laugh. That's all that matters. Alright. So, this is essentially what I was trying to explain with words. And because I word bad art is yes. Um, had to do it with visuals um I think we probably if we want to keep going like a west or east direction um we, ah, dang it they're just not even numbers which is hurting my soul so like if I go here right the one, two, three. We'd have to put one here. Yeah. No. One, two, three. Oh, no, no, no. I, I counted right. I, I just... I'm blind. That's all. Right? One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. I just couldn't... I was, like, looking at it, and it just wasn't, like, computing in my mind. Now, by no means do I plan on going a million blocks in all these different directions. I just, uh, I like to lay out a little template just for the sake of, like, why not? It feels nice. When you come down here, like, mm, this is, this is, like, all nice looking and stuff. I would do this mine shaft. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We slap a thing here, too. Our inventory's almost full. We may end up making a trip back up here real soon. Uh, what? Uh, okay, wait. I'm gonna stand right here, dead center, in the room. I'm gonna close my eyes and spin around a lot. I'm gonna spin around really fast and a lot, and hopefully I don't spill my coffee while in the process. Let's move it. Let's move the coffee. Just in case. State Farm. Sponsor me. <laughs> Whichever direction we land in 
is the direction that uh we'll we'll mine so um i don't know how do i prove that i i'm not looking does that make sense we'll go to the end of the song wait 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 how long is this song shoot all right hold on we'll start over Okay, it's another two minutes. Maybe we don't go to the end of the song because that's gonna. <laughs> We're not gonna spin like this for three minutes. Ready? Eh. I really didn't think we'd land like directly on a uh, a cave tunnel. But, I mean, it, it speaks for itself. That's where we go. Um. Tell you what. That's just to signify that that's the cave we're, we're uh, currently uh, doing our thing with. I think I'm gonna stop mining ores, uh, at least the ones that are on the sides. If they're in the way, obviously I'll just like clip them. Um, but I don't care to to mine them all, especially since we don't have fortune at the moment. Um, it'd be kind of convenient if we, or well, I guess we technically do have fortune, but it's one of the gold pickaxe, and I, yeah, that happens very quickly to a gold pickaxe. So um, we'll uh, we'll bail on that those ores for now. We're looking specifically for chromatic iron, and if we find diamonds, we'll take them. Um, I know you can get diamonds from the vaults, so I'm not so worried about saving those things. Uh, for fortune, that is. Oh, we're going to run into lava. Yes, we are. Um, we're going to go over the lava. Um, so yeah, that way we can come back to the, the overworld ores in the future. With, uh, should we collect lava in buckets, or should we get... No, nah, because we can do that with a nether. We can do the lava in the nether. I'm gonna say, like, a bit, it might be actually useful to have, uh, buckets of lava. Is this another Yankee Doodle song? Get away from me. Get, I'm sorry. You guys got one of them, you don't get two. Just, just a little curious as to what's going on on the sides. No, I have no issue pop, or walking around a cave. I saying before ah. um oh uh so I'm gonna save all the other ores just for fortune because like why not uh we we already have a, a fair amount of all that stuff what are the odds Um, but the diamonds, however, we have, like, the potential to get a, a ton of diamonds from, uh, from the vault. So, oh, that looks kind of useful. Um, I would like all that stuff. We'll, we'll come back. We'll collect all that stuff. Because our inventory is uh, a struggle bussin'. But yeah, so the diamonds uh, will mine. We'll take those bad boys with us right away. Sorry it took me so long to get to that point. We just keep getting distracted. Um, but yeah, so 
the diamonds we will make tools out of would love i know we have a diamond pickaxe on us at the moment but i would love like a diamond sword would be really helpful um especially once we get into a vault that guy looks fast for some reason scared me I really don't want to mess with him that's fluorite right I think that's fluorite Yeah, it is. He's so loud. I don't want to drop anything because I'm afraid that we're going to have to, um, like, use it. I'll tell you what, we'll go back here. Like, even the spider webs, I feel like, are possible to, to have in the, uh, in the recipes. Alright. That's fine. Well, let's just make a trip back. I'll tell you what. Um, because well, just for the sake of like collecting all of our garbanzo, we'll, we'll, we'll be back. I do want to kill him now. He's so loud, dude. Nice. My gosh, sorry about your ears. That was incredibly freaking loud, dude. I know, I said we're going back. I can't help it. Imagine we gotta jump down and just freaking face plant. That would be actually really funny. I should have just like purposefully left it. so close we're gonna run out of stairs dang it we're we came so close to not running out of steps Music is so happy. Look, I, I prepared. <laughs> I came prepared. If anybody's ever done this and like gotten to this point, and you're like, uh, 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 I can't get up. I knew it was gonna happen. I left one stair in my inventory. <laughs>
This is painful, guys. I, I'm so sorry about the staircase. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just done a diagonal. See, I, I dug it like this with the anticipation of making a water elevator at some point. Um, I just didn't realize... Dude, I thought the place was burning down. I got kind of nervous. I, I heard fire. I was like, oh, God. Um, I just didn't realize what I was, like, putting us up against for uh, the meantime until we get soul sand. Sorry. Uranium ingot, huh? I'm leaving the raw stuff down here uh, just for the sake of like holding on to it until we can smelt like entire stacks at a time. Um, so it, I feel like it conserves a little bit of coal that way because like, you know, one piece of coal will smelt like a specific amount of ore, whereas like if you only smelt like four, it continues burning and waste. So like, we'll hold on to all that stuff until we can smell like an even number. <clears throat> Lexica Botanica, Botania, writer's edition. It's a very thinky mod, Adam G3691. A book by Vasky, the official guide for all your Botania needs. This is a very loud book. Magic Tech Naturally. Botania is a tech mod themed around natural magic. The main concept is to create magical flowers and devices utilizing the power of the earth in the form of mana. Resize you are. Oh my. That's perfect. I got them old man eyes. Uh, history advancements. Gosh. Basics and mechanics. Natural apparatus, mystical items, trinkets and accessories, ender artifacts. I wonder if that one item we got is an ender artifact. Miscellaneous, locked, 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 locked. Entry index. The, what's that? What item? Is this thing. Botania. We'll probably end up making like a whole Botania like portion of storage at some point. Welcome to Botania. I congratulate you on the fine decision to strap a sapling and look a book together. <laughs> or just on finding this tome in a chest, whichever applies. That is exactly what happened. You can navigate this book with the arrows at the bottom of the page or scroll through your pages with your mouse wheel. Despite its appearance, Botania is in essence a tech mod. It requires that you put uh, to use ingenuity, thought, and redstone to create and progress. Keep that in mind. Of course, you'll also be rewarded with cool toys, blocks, and equipment along the way. Botania is a mod for anybody who likes to play Minecraft because they are they like building cool things. It is designed to be fully playable, standalone, and uh, but can also be played with other mods. With a few exceptions, everything for this mod can be fully automated with only Minecraft itself. Interesting. Good. It's good to know. If you happen to find yourself feeling lost, try checking the mod's advancements or challenges, both of which can be found on the left-hand side of this book's main page. The book is laid out in a user-friendly way with a fair number of helpful features, so before you jump in and start playing, take a bit of time to familiarize yourself with those. The entry index category is helpful for searching for a particular entry as it contains every entry in the book in one place. Sounds like a zombie's beating on a door outside. And that's it for this introduction. I hope you enjoy playing Botania, uh, playing with Botania as much as I enjoyed making it. Vaz Key, the mod author. 
continue by pressing the back button on the bottom or uh, uh, oh. so we have seen a ton of mystical flowers uh i have not collected any um notice an elusive flower by the name of black lotus however it is not known to grow or reproduce there are no known sources of the lotus at this time it is known however that each bloom contains a good deal of concentrated mana that can be released by dissolving it inside a non-empty mana pool just throwing it in will do The physical laws regarding inventories are somewhat skewed in our world. Thanks to that, carrying an array of different colors of flowers can turn out to be a major hassle. Luckily, a flower pouch takes care of all of those issues. It stores up to one stack of each of flower or each color of mystical flower and tall mystical flowers, and passively catches any more than that its holder picks up. Wait, oh, so you don't have to like physically put the flower in the set the the bag? It'll just eat it up flowers won't be picked up by the pouch if the pouch is held in your dominant hand furthermore <laughs> excuse me <laughs> furthermore sneak right click the pouch on a chest or other inventory will dump all the flowers the pouch contains into the city inventory that's actually awesome oh so like takes any flower and a bunch of wool that is super easy oh requires research huh it's about the same size on the inside huh any color works what does that mean it's about the same size on the inside i don't know what that means Um, all right, let's just read them all just to get it over with. Pure Daisy from far from being just the most basic. The pure Daisy is the most important flower a botanist can have. This flower will purify any adjacent wood and stone blocks as seen on the next page into their purified counterparts, living wood and living rock. These resources are important crafting materials throughout a botanist's career. Just give it a minute or so. Living wood can be turned into twigs. A few other blocks can also be purified by placing them around the flower. While not as unique and essential as the living blocks, these recipes still can come in handy. Netherrack purifies into cobblestone, soul sand into sand, ice into packed ice, and water into snow. Shift to stop the animation. A blank canvas to start your adventure. Petal Apothecary. What's this? Why does it say that? Uh oh, pure day. Wait. I don't know why it says that. The Petal Apothecary. To create plant life that can do their bidding, a botanist needs a special means of infusing plants with mystical energy. Luckily, the Petal Apothecary can do just that. This block, when placed in the world and given some water, by right-clicking or throwing in a water bucket, will accept any mystical petals thrown into it, <clears throat> absorbing their energies. Once the correct petals have been provided, throwing any seeds in will finalize the crafting process. All functional and generating flora are made here. For more information, read through the respective sections in this lexicon. Right-clicking on the petal apothecary with an empty hand will remove the last item thrown in it. If it's filled with lava instead of water, the apothecary will serve as a brazier and incinerator, destroying any items that come into contact with it. Com Comparators can detect the, an apothecary's fullness. Since the petal apothecary can be filled by with a uh, dropped 
water bucket and dispensers can fill buckets creating a system that will fully automatically refill the water and the block shouldn't prove too difficult a simple tip for the one more for more efficiency minded for the more efficiency minded up to 20 seconds after crafting a flower and after refilling the water if you right click the apothecary with an empty hand it'll pull another set of the same ingredients out of your inventory for quick quick crafting in bulk gotcha easy mystical flowers around the world you may stumble upon very large uh, a very large variety of mystical flowers spotting these flowers doesn't take much work as they grow <coughs> glow flink flink <laughs> faintly and sparkle gotcha we've seen many many of them they come in a total of 16 different colors these flowers can also be grown with floral fertilizer flowers as far as the eye can see these flowers can be plucked from mystical petals gotcha uh which are used in the creation of magical instruments and plants right clicking a petal on the ground will bury it making it emit particles these petals can also be crushed into the corresponding dyes plucking petals off flowers dyes grinding petals into dyes by mixing dye with some bone meal you'll create a different type of fertilizer this floral fertilizer will grow a few mystical flowers in the nearby vicinity if you ever run low on those Using any combination of typical flower substances will work. Uh, there are also some taller variants of the typical mystical flowers around the world. These can be plucked uh, for twice the petals as a normal flower would yield. Gotcha. Awesome. Tall flower variants can be made manually by fertilizing a mystical uh, flower or a bird petal with bone meal if you find yourself running a on a particular color try burying a petal of that color and using bone meal on it prepare for trouble petal block petals can also be made into blocks and other way or and the other way around gotcha i kind of like this song it's freaky wonton by ramzoid supposedly it's an inspirational hip-hop song <laughs> maybe we should have read the lexica first uh it is the repository for all of all knowledge for the botanical matters but you probably already knew that who to thunk it all well-known botanical knowledge is stored within these pages. For convenience, if a block happens to have an entry in here, it can be sneak right-clicked on with the Lexica Botania to open said entry. Any entries typed in italics are basic entries, which contain the core knowledge required to play Botania. You may want to read those first. Those sections contain one or more of those entries so a good look through those would be a good idea you can craft the the lexica with a uh bloss bo yeah like a a, a a sapling in a book easy the lexica botania's title can also be customized by placing it in an anvil and renaming it these changes well the these changes it both its cover and its title. Wait. The addition of the lexica shows shown equates to the version of Botania you're running, and no, I don't care about the fourth wall. I don't. Sounds like an inside joke. I don't understand what that means. Let's slap this sucker in a chest and never ever think about that again uh right there we need a bucket of water oops we need more picks
water. Is that the closest water? Hi, guy. You're alive. Wonderful. Oh, my brain and eyes hurt after reading that much. That was difficult. I don't do books anymore. <laughs> Who reads these days? Oh. Um. That should be fine, right? We don't really need the diamond pick. Wondering if maybe we should not bring the diamond pick with us. I don't really care to go mine a bunch of obsidian anyway. All right, I'm gonna use the bathroom quick and uh, I will be back. We're gonna jump back down this hole. We're gonna continue to go mining. Find this freaking chromatic iron. All right, uh, but I'll pause the broadcast so that it is like two seconds. Uh, I paused the recording, but not the music, so, uh, we've been jamming this whole time. It hasn't been that long. Hold on a second. We gotta, we gotta do something about this. I think that I'm pretty sure that's fluorite. Oh, but would you know it? My babies. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, you need iron anyway. You can't use gold. I about got real upset with myself. <laughs> I think we went the whole way down that cave. No way. Oh, we got to go back down. I think two. Just got to, you know, look around a little bit. Make sure for show that uh, we're not missing nothing. So we got five diamonds. That's enough to make a sword and I mean, an additional pickaxe would probably be pretty beneficial. I was thinking like an axe, but I don't think I really want to make a, di uh, a diamond axe. I'd rather have a, a secondary pickaxe. <clears throat> or... Or, 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 we make, like, 
something else. I, w I bet you there's other crafting stuff in the game that uh, requires diamonds other than just like tools and a uh, enchantment table. Excuse me. Technically, if we take a right and go three blocks to the su to the right, well, and then turn, you know, take another right and uh, mine straight back, we could follow this pathing all the way back. Uh, if we so in were inclined to do so. I wonder if uh, it's intentionally difficult to find chromatic iron and vault rock. We've mined for quite a while, and not even just this strip mine. Like the last episode, we did a lot of caving. I want. I don't. I wonder what the most efficient way to do it is. I mean, that's why we're we're mining or strip mining right now is because the uh, the caving just wasn't cutting it. Like we weren't finding what we needed. It was like let's try another method. So if we don't find anything within the next forty minutes, forty to fifty minutes, we'll see. But between thirty and fifty minutes, somewhere in there. Gosh, I can't stop yawning now. It gets very very dark and hard to see uh on my monitor and i was just thinking like it's probably even more difficult to see on like a youtube see a cave coming up I'll tell you what we'll hit that cave and then we'll we'll bounce back we'll we'll go back the other way Oh, are we going to hit that cave? We might just barely clip the edge of it. Huh. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't stop yawning. I am very tired. It has been a long, long day.
Hi there. Haha, <laughs> big idiot. Big idiot. Oh god, that's how we died. not no nice scared me Shit. Run. That's not. about that spawner over there. Oh, that's Vault Rock. That that's totally Vault Rock. Now is it just me or does this fluorite look more dull than the other fluorite that we had literally just mined? Yeah, it is fluoride. Hi there. Yikes! Almost made an oopsie. Ah! <laughs> I couldn't see him. See another spawner up there. <laughs> that was so loud, dude. I thought it was a creeper. I, <laughs> I, even though it didn't sound like a creeper, I thought it was one. It scared me. All the diamonds in the world, huh? Yeah. Is that... Dude. It is. It is fluoride. I, th I feel like there's two shades of fluoride. There's one that's like pretty vibrant. And one that's a little less, like, 
vibrant. The skeleton one. I hate creepers, dude. I'm just bad at killing them for some reason. I was really good at killing them on like controller when I played on uh, PlayStation. But uh, something about the PC. What is that? I don't think that's chrom chromatic iron. I don't think that's iron. Oh, it is. Cool. Very cool. Are you for real right now? Are you freaking for real right now? If that's not the most disappointing thing you've ever freaking experienced in your life. Are you telling me that's all there is here? I really, really thought they were going to be larger veins than that. We got three. Is that what that says? Three? Did we miss something? Did we drop some? Did one of them not? I know we mined more than three. Okay. Fine. Fine. And it seemed like it was taking a long time to mine, and I was like, nah, it's fine. We can mine iron with gold. I've done that before. I think that's more there. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, there's a lot here. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, nineteen, twenty. So we had three, right? I was going to count to make sure that we got like at least one for every single block. But um, there's a lot here. Cue the creeper behind me. Wow, this is a thick boy bavane right here. I didn't expect this much. I just didn't expect so little in the last one. Alright, so, and then we found vault rock. We gotta go mine that. And I think we can use fortune on the vault rock. I hope we can use the gold pick. I mean, we're taking all of this. I think that's... Wait. Some of this is fluorite? Bamboozle me! Holy guac, dude. There is a lot here. I feel like this ought to be plenty, right? I, honestly, I don't really know how much it takes to make the stuff that we gotta make. But, uh... It seems to me like this is gonna be enough.
Holy guac, dude. It just goes on and on. We're gonna get more than two stacks. Imagine if we could have used fortune on it. That would have been outrageous. Oh, exactly two stacks. That's convenient. I don't know if we keep this bow. I don't know. Hell yeah. Cobblestone. We're losing stuff. Um, that's kind of sad, but whatever. I wasn't even paying attention. I mean, do we take the whole thing here, too? Like, why not? statue is for oh yeah we're set for at least a while. I think we already have pumpkins, or excuse me, watermelon seeds. I thought strip mining was rough. <laughs> we actually find the stuff we have, and now we're tired of picking it up. <laughs> Are those red dots mobs around me? Like, bad boy mobs? can't believe I'm prioritizing uh, rotten flesh over watermelon seeds.
I wonder what the different colors are about. I mean, it's nice to have a little bit of variation. I just, uh, I'm not complaining. I'm just curious. If a creeper jumps in here, guys, remind me. Put the water bucket down instantly. Don't even try to fight it. Put the bucket down. Yeah? 100 IQ. Holy Volt Rock, man. I mean, we ought to have enough for, like, ever and ever now. Because I, I think we get this stuff from inside the vaults, too. So, like, if we do vaults and end up running out of this and not getting enough in return from the vaults themselves, there's got to be something wrong, right? Like, we're probably doing something wrong ourselves. Holy guac, dude. Almost too much. Turn it down. We make compressed blocks in this game. Is that a th I think that's a thing, right? Like if you've got cobblestone and you have a ton of cobblestone, you just slap a three by three of cobblestone in a crafting table and it compresses it. I think. kind of leaving that top layer above my head just in case a creeper decides he wants to wander up over here i feel like i did a decent job at lighting up the upper area though we should be okay hopefully holy crap dude creating our own cave i'm not upset i'm glad we got a lot i'd rather have way too much than way too little I just uh, was not necessarily expecting such a large amount of it.
we gotta prioritize here. We got enough osmium at home, for sure. Inventory check. We only got 50. I feel like we should have gotten more of the chipped ones, but I think what we can do is if we really need more, we can actually place down uh, the vault rock that we have left, the cobble, and um, like remine it for an attempt to get. for an, an attempt to get a. Uh, another thing of chipped stuff. I'm trying to find out where we came in at. And also avoid those spawners at the same time. I think it was down here. Crazy that diamonds don't even really excite me. Ah, right here. Dang it. Thought I was being cool. I uh, thought I was cool. looking for more diamonds I'm sure I missed some but it's okay we got plenty of stuff for now we're outie 5 thou guys this was successful this was incredibly successful part oh. oh I didn't make any more stairs that's a big mistake Goodness me. We're making it. We made it. It's always nighttime when we get back up here. You know what? Let's just smelt it. Smelt all of it right now.
Okay. Slap this in there, that. about that it's not the most organized but it is better than not being organized at all So let's make a, a diamond sword. Do I have any sticks? Sticks. Um, I mean. We already have, all right, I'll tell you what. Let, let's just make the, the ax because we already have that, right? We have to, we can make mo. Might just throw that stuff in there for now. Not what I meant to do. Um, I feel like I just lost something. I don't know, but that needs to come out. That's what I lost right there. Okay. I'm blanking on how many staircases we needed. I want to say it was around six. But I'm not positive. Um, alright. Bam. Bam. So, I think that is possibly gonna wrap it up. Just kidding. We're gonna craft the things we need to do. We need this book though. Vault rock. To make a vault rock. Vault crystal. Vault rock is placed into a vault altar. So we need two pieces of obsidian, which we conveniently have. Watch this. Nice. We did it. We got the. I'm gonna just keep this in here for now. In fact, can we just please tell me we can just mine it? Thank goodness. Wonder if I put like if I were to hang this lantern on the wall just above the chest, if we could still open the chest. Let's see. Sweet. Oh, 
Um, okay, so what's the next step? We got the altar. A vault rock is made with chipped vault rock and chromatic ingot. Man. Okay. So. Seeds, one iron, two sticks, and. Wait. Oh. Oh, it takes either? Even better, dude. I thought it was just the granite for a second. You know what? Let's do andesite because we have a ton of that. What was the other one? One piece of iron. We need a button. Oh. Guys, this is really fun. This is very cool too. I feel like there's a baby zombie that's gonna spawn down there. Oh, it's random. Okay, good to know. We're gonna move this. Vault portal. Uh, after infusing the vault rock to create a vault crystal, the player requires a frame, a portal frame. Right clicking with a vault crystal inside the portal opens a gateway to the vault dimension. The frame can be built out of any type of vault stone. Okay. That's easy. We're definitely putting it down here. Yeah, should we make a big one? I said the max is 23 by 23. That's perfect. It's a five by five. It's chunking. That's a fat boy. We just have so much of the vault stone. I was like, why not? Don't you dare. Can they go in? I didn't think about that. Guys, that is sick. That is so sick, and, um, because we're professionals. Although that's not professional 
<laughs> nice. That's professional. Um... We don't have very good armor. I feel like if we go in there, we get clapped. Like, for sure get clapped. Now, if I am correct, I believe it said something about being level 1 through 20 is like a forgiveness thing. So, uh, you don't really have to worry about dying so much. Just because, well, I mean, obviously you don't want to die. You want to be able to get as much stuff done as you can. All the loot and get out and collect your XPs. Uh, but if you die before level 20 volts, you uh, don't lose your stuff. We need another one of those lamps. We have other lamps. That feels a little bit nicer. All right. So, guys, listen. Oh, 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 oh. This is a good spot for him. We need a second one, though. <laughs> we need a second one. It's a mirror on the other side. Um, This is going to do it. We have completed our objective through and through. We did really good. We over exceeded, honestly. We uh, we got way more stuff than I had anticipated getting today. I was like, oh, we'll just go and get a little bit. Now that a chipped vault rock, I wanna say you can use like uh, fortune on this stuff and just place this back down over and over and over and over until you get enough to be able to do these or you know collect these uh and there's like a chance for them to drop each time i'm pretty sure that's how it works um if not let me know and this is actually a good amount of chromatic iron that should be more than enough to get us rolling so that we can actually pull some from the vaults so um I want to say we don't need to go mining ever again. Um, unless it's for like overworld stuff so that we can like make crystals. Speaking of. Dang it. I don't want to use coal. I really don't have much coal. Oh, it takes charcoal, though. That's actually really good to know for the future. Why does he sound like he's right at my butt? Cause he is up up on my butt. Let's just go to sleep. Real quick. Okay, so we're not gonna run a vault today. It has been almost two hours. Um, and with that being said, we're just gonna stock up. We're gonna make these three crystals as long as we can make this last crystal. I'm assuming we can, uh, just because we are fresh into it. Level zero, that's freaking adorable. Uh, and that way, next episode, we could just hop right in. Man, the coal. They're killing me. And the sticks, five sticks. Leaves, I don't, oh. 
What are the odds we have the exact number of leaves? That has to be regular dirt. What is that? Three? Four. I'm very tired. <laughs> uh, I can't remember Jack. Quat. And five steaks. Bam. Bing. Guys, this is this is great. We're having a good time. We uh we, guys, we went hard in the paint today. Uh it was slow rolling so long for like way early on, and then all of a sudden it all hit at once. We got everything. Um, which was perfect timing because we're rolling right up on that two hour mark. I love it. I hope you guys love it too. And um, that's going to do it. Next episode, we're going to pick right back up where we left off. We've got an open portal ready to go. Um, I think... Like, obviously we want as much inventory space as possible. I'm trying to set ourselves up for the uh, for the actual portal. Um... Let's just take one. All right. I don't want to spam them all and use them all at once. Um, that should be fine, right? Let's just bring some more of this. And I don't think we really need the torches. Man, this place is getting to be a freaking mess. This is bad. I, I, I'm, this is driving me absolutely crazy. Um, So yeah, next episode, we pick right back up where we left off. We've got an open portal ready to go. Our inventory is set. Our armor is trash, but we're just going to cross our fingers and, uh, and hope that it all just works out okay. Um, and if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Um, now I think what we do is we take our time through the vaults. We don't want to rush it too hard. You know, we want to be able to get as much loot as we can and just get out safely. Not too concerned about the objectives. If it's a boss, I doubt I'll be fighting the boss. Cause if I'm correct, there's like scavengers, there's boss fights. I want to say there's something else too. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, thank you guys again for joining me. Uh, I had a great time. Hope you did too. And, uh, you know, next episode. It's going to be here soon. See ya.